Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We're talking Google Pixel 8a with Android 15 in this video. But before I get into it, a couple of things you guys can do to help me out. First of all, so by smashing that like button because it does let the algorithm know that people are interested in this video. And also share this out on social media so other people can find my video and check out and listen to what I have to say about the different tech items that I am discussing. Also, if you guys are interested in the description, there are some promo codes for you guys. First one is for Helium Mobile. If you guys are interested in trying Helium Mobile, you guys can get a month free on me just by using my promo code at checkout upon signing up. Now, if you're interested in Google Fi, I do have a referral code that will get you $60 credit just for signing up, and that's a limited time. That eventually will go back down to $20, so take advantage now while you can. Anyways, the Google Pixel 8a got Android 15. I actually got it, you know, about a week ago. And I can tell you guys right now that, you know, it's the experience has been pretty solid on it. So first of all, just to kind of get like all, you know, the stuff out of the way, uh, questions. Is there any bugs or anything I've noticed that's broken with this update or anything like that? No. And that's probably one of the beautiful things about the Android beta program is that, yes, while you are sacrificing your warranty on your device, because I want to make that clear to people, if you install any Android beta software, you are foregoing your warranty on it. Uh, I know this for a fact. I had a glitch happen on a device that had beta software on it, took it to get repaired, and they were like, your warranty was voided because you took the beta software. So just keep that in mind. But anyways, um, with the beta program and those who are willing to test it to risk the warranty on their device, um, they report a lot of bugs back to Google. So shout out to the uh, Pixel community for doing that because then when we get the full-fledged operating system it comes mostly bug free mostly nothing's perfect like ios people can't even say that ios 18 is perfect even though it's been in beta for the last like two months this is not that type of video anyways um so no i haven't really seen any bug issues at all whatsoever everything is working fine bluetooth's working fine wi-fi is fine data connection is fine call quality is fine audio is fine nfc is fine wireless charging is fine Wire charging is fine. Cameras are working. Camera zoom in. Camera zoom out. It does everything that I want it to do. Apps are functioning properly. Secured apps are functioning properly. Banking apps are functioning properly. So everything is functioning properly on my end with my Pixel 8a. Can't speak for everybody else's, but I can speak for mine. Mine is working pretty good too. Um, it did get a beefed up security system. Obviously, that was, you know, one of the biggest touts of Android 15 is that you would get some new security features, much needed security features with your Google Pixel device. And I do have them enabled. So I did turn on the, um, you know, uh, anti-theft, which basically the sensors on the device pretty much like, you know, it knows normal movement by you. It can recognize that. But if someone was to just quickly snatch your phone and run, um, it would lock the device down. And let me clarify something. It doesn't lock it down to where you can't gain access into it. So for those people who are coming up with these scenarios, like, oh, what if um, you know, I'm like reading something on my phone and then I realize, oh my God, I'm late. So I had to dash all the way somewhere. Um, is it gonna is it gonna lock my phone where I can't get back into it? Like, no, you'll get back into it because the only way if like a person stole the phone and it gets recovered, you, the owner, are the only person that can get into it because your pin password, whichever you use, and your biometrics. That's all you need to get back into it. What it what it, what they mean by it locks it down is is pretty much just like if someone snatched it from your hand, right? So let's just say they did. Okay. Let's say they snatched it from your hand. All it's gonna do is just quickly lock. So when you wake the screen, now you're on a lock screen. You gotta know the biomet you have to have the biometrics, which they won't because they're not you, and they gotta have your pin and password, which hopefully they're, they're not your friend who knows it because if they are, then you probably should pick better friends. You know, alongside with the new anti-theft security system that's baked into Android 15, you also get the privacy app drawer. So that means that, you know, if I'm around people, I don't want them knowing who I bank with. It's really none of their business. Um, so I can actually throw all my banking apps in that private app drawer and other apps that I use, like, you know, if I don't want anyone accessing my photos, I can throw my Google Photos app in there. Um, I can throw YouTube Studios and, and such in there, too, as well, if I don't want people messing around with, you know, my, um, my content that I put up on YouTube. I can just 
throw that in there. And what it is, it's a private app drawer. And to access it, you need, you need a security pin or biometrics to access it. Otherwise, <clears throat> if it's just somebody, like say like I have my phone to my son, he can open up the regular app drawer and just see the apps that's you know public for him to see. He won't see any of the private apps that, like my banking app, so he won't be able to get into it. Nice feature to have. You know, and hopefully in, in, in the future, you know, they will bake in more security, make it more intuitive, add more features to it. Um, I'm open to that because that's really what Android 15 did this year. And I know some people were complaining like, oh, my God, we didn't get a user interface overhaul. Like, look, every new operating system does not require a user interface overhaul. OK, but what we do need is useful features added in. And this was, I wouldn't say a much needed feature because the whole idea that Android was never secure and that Apple is the only thing that's secure out there is a big bowl of frosted bullshit. Android had its security. The problem with Android, and I will say this all the time when people debate it, the problem with Android and why people would say it wasn't that secure is not because that the software was flawed. It's because it's an, it's an open source project. And because it's, an, it's open source means that you didn't have to just download apps from the Play Store. You could sideload applications, which is what a lot of people did. People wanted to cheat on games and they would download cracked modded APK files and load it into their phone. Not even thinking that there was any type of Trojan or malware attached to that APK file for the game. And they would install it, not knowing they installed these malicious things, including one that was like, you know, like a... It, it, it like drilled attacked everything but it not only did it drill through your 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 operating system bypassing security but it also covered its own track so it made it hard for antivirus anti-malware software to find it locate it isolate it and remove it that's just what it is anyways guys um so alongside that the last thing i'll touch base with with android 15 is that the battery improved on the Pixel 8a. Now the Pixel 8a already has good battery from when it released with Android 14, but I just noticed that, you know, a little bit more screen on time was added on on my daily usage. And, um, you know, if I have more things connected, like if I'm running Bluetooth and I have like, you know, my smartwatch connected, my Pixel Buds connected and, you know, um, it wasn't depleting the battery faster. So, you know, a nice touch on the battery. Um, I can also say that for the Pixel 7, which you guys will see in the Pixel 7 video talking about Android 15. But anyways, Pixel 8a does really good. Um, there's a lot to it. And with Android 15, it just made it that much better. So uh, just my quick update on, you know, how the phone is with Android 15. If you guys have any other specific questions regarding Android 15 and the Pixel 8a, ask them in the comment section of the video. Thanks for checking today's video out. Smash the like button. Really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you all on the next one. As always, law.